Hello doctors, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to see about pulse. Okay, what is pulse? Pulse is a regular expansion of an artery which is caused by ejection of the blood from the heart. So basically pulse is equal to heart rate. Sites used to check the pulse are central which we check on the apex of the heart using step and peripheral we check on the arteries like temporal, carotid, brachial, radial, femoral, popliteal, posterior tibial and dorsalis pedis. But usually more often used sites are carotid, radial and femoral. Ok, what to check? We have to check rate, rhythm, strength, frequency and depth. In general, carotid artery is used to check the character of the pulse whereas radial artery is used to check the rate and rhythm and in young children femoral artery is used ok let's see about pulse pressure graph as you all know gap between S1 and S2 is systolic phase and gap between S2 and S1 is diastolic phase in systolic phase the ventricular ejection happens as you see here this is the systolic peak pressure and this is diacrotic notch. I will explain it later on this video. Don't confuse pulse pressure with blood pressure. Both are different. Okay, let's talk about some pathology. Before that, you should remember A, B, C, D. It's okay if you remember from your childhood. Okay, first comes our A. Aortic stenosis. Okay, okay. I know you all been thinking A stands for aortic stenosis. But technically it is not. I will explain. Usually aortic wall surface area is more than 2.5 cm. But if it is less than 2.5 cm, it is called aortic stenosis. Ok, let's see what happens to the pulse during aortic stenosis. So as you can see here, the pulse becomes slow rising due to amplitude or cardiac output decrease. The dichrotic notch also relatively smaller than normal. If all the pulse has these characteristics, they called as pulsus tardus et parvus. And it is also called as anacrotic pulse. As I mentioned earlier, A stands for anacrotic pulse. As you see here, it is a valvular aortic stenosis. Now comes the B. We will see about hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy. In pulse pressure graph, we could see Fast rise and fast fall. It is also referred as jerky pulse. This kind of pulse called as pulsus bisferens. So the B stands for bisferens. In the left ventricle, we can see the hypertrophy of the myocardium, which causes narrowing of the aortic wall. These tend to decrease the velocity of the blood flow. So basically, we will see asymmetrical septal hypertrophy. This indicates the dynamic left ventricle outflow obstruction. In here, you can see subvalvular aortic stenosis. Now comes the C, collapsing pulse, which happens in aortic regurgitation. During examination, if we ask to raise the arm of the patient, the pulse may disappear. Because rising of the arm leads to blood returned back into the heart due to incompetence valve. This will lead to sudden disappearance of pulse. This is also called as water hammer pulse or corrigan pulse. C refers to corrigan pulse. Next comes our D. Decrotic pulse. This happens in dilated cardiac myopathy. Before that, let's talk about diacrotic notch and reflected wave. When blood go out from the iota, it will hit the artery wall and try to return back into the heart. This causes the reflected wave. The reflected wave is directly proportional to peripheral resistance. In dilated cardiomyopathy, the cardiac output will decrease, the GFR will be decreased, so the renin angiotensin mechanism will activate it. So it will produce aldosterone. This will increase the peripheral resistance. So the pulse will be like this. This is the only pulse palpable on systolic phase and diastolic phase. 
we can see twice beating pulse in bisphyrin's pulse and dichrotic pulse but the difference is bisphyrin's pulse twice beating happens in only systolic whereas dichrotic pulse happens in systolic and diastolic phase let's talk about some bonus pulse in this graph you can see the weak pulse strong pulse the weak pulse strong pulse coming in alternate this is called as pulsus alternans next comes irregularly irregular pulse it happens in atrial fibrillation and multifocal atrial tachycardia and the last but not least is pulsus paradoxus this is the pulse characteristic to weaker or disappear in the face of inspiration this happens in cardiac tamponade inferior wall myocardial infarction severe copd status asthmaticus and even in pregnancy as you can see all these are in hypotension state okay let's assume this is a heart and its chamber and this is the pericardial sac during cardiac tamponade the pericardial sac filled with fluid so this will make hard for contraction due to high pressure in the sac while inspiration blood filling in the right ventricle increase which causes exaggerated septal deviation so this will decrease the left ventricular cavity so end diastolic volume will decrease and the blood pressure will be decreased thanks for watching hope you see on the next video